This is Mika-san. Thank you for watching. Today, I'll show you what is Kamidana. Let's get started right away. What is enshrined in a Kamidana? A Kamidana is a place to enshrine a household shrine and an ofuda, which contains the spirit of a Shinta god is enshrined. There are various notations for this, not just ofuda, but I like to use ofuda this time. Kamidana can be found not only in homes but also in offices. What is the appropriate place for a Kamidana? A bright, well ventilated, and clean place is desirable. In Shinto, light and cleanliness are considered important, so a Kamidana in such a place is considered appropriate. The height should be above eye level. It's often enshrined near the ceiling. The best place is a place where family members can gather, such as in the living room for easy daily play use. The top floor is preferable, and if the building is two stories high, enshrine it on the second floor. If it is difficult to enshrine on the top floor, put a piece of paper on the top of the kamidana with words such as cloud, heaven, and sky. This means that there is nothing above the kamidana. It is the sky or the heavens. This is based on the idea that if you enshrine a kamidana on the floor other than the top floor, people will step on it. And we ask for forgiveness for this rudeness. Then enshrine it facing east or south. Avoid places that are back to back with toilets or above doors where people often come and go. There are many requirements, but if it is difficult to meet all of them, just try to meet them as much as possible. How to enshrine a ofuda? In the kamidana, we can put the ofuda that I mentioned earlier. Three of them are the official number. But some people enshrine only one or more than four. Incidentally, since ofuda is often made of thin water balls or paper, we usually use seeds as the unit for counting. In Japanese, we say mai, but in the case of ofuda, we use tai instead of mai. It's counted as ittai or nitai. This is because it is believed that a Shinta god dwells in ofuda. What kind of ofuda is enshrined? There are some specific types of ofuda to be enshrined. First, we have to always enshrine the ofuda of Ise Shrine, which enshrines Amaterasu Omikami and is called Jingu Taima. Amaterasu is considered to be the ancestor god of the imperial family and the predatory god of the Japanese people. And then there is the Ujigami Shrine's Ofuda. The Ujigami Shrine, also called Ujigami Sama, is the shrine that protects the area where we live. Then there is Ofuda, the Shrine of Veneration called Suke Shrine. This is the shrine that you personally believe in. Simply put, it is a shrine that you like, regardless of where you live. What does a kamidana look like? There are two main types of kamidana, ishamiya and sanshamiya. The ishamiya is suitable for enshrining a single ofuda or when space is limited. The sanshamiya is a full-fledged kamidana and can enshrine three ofuda. The jingu taima is placed in the middle. And the ofuda of the Ujigami Shrine and the Suke Shrine are placed on the left and right sides, respectively. A 
actually Ishamia can also enshrine three of the by stacking of the on top of each other. In this case, be careful about the order of stacking. How was it? In Japan, we can see kamidana in many homes and offices, and it is a familiar part of Japanese people's daily lives. Thank you for watching. I pray for your happiness always. We'll see you next time. Bye.